Hello, Alien St. Hilaire here, and in this video, we're going to talk about Mesh Central Assistant. So Mesh Central Assistant is a application or tool that runs on the Windows desktop and is built for remote assistant usages. So the Mesh Agent would be installed when you want to remotely take control of a computer anytime you want, but the Mesh Central Assistant is there when the user is requesting help. So let's take a look at that. So. We're going to start with our trusty Mesh Central server right here. I will just keep it running. And I have my central, Mesh Central server here with a bunch of computers connected. Actually, the computer that I'm looking at on the screen is central right here. So obviously, I could click on it. I can remote a terminal into myself. And that's, this would be what happens. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to the computer list, say Add Agent. And this is normally the Windows agent you would download and install. But I'm going to start by going to Mesh Central Assistant. And then you can pick the installation type you want. Like, how do you want Mesh Central Assistant to work? You can have it as an application. Or you can have it as a system tray that runs uh, on the tray on the bottom right here, typically, of the screen. So if you run it as an application, you can have it connected on user request or always connected. Or if you run it as a system tray, you can have it connect on user request, always connected, or monitor only. So monitor only is that it's going to run in the system tray and monitor the background agent. So I'm going to try that one first, which is the easiest. I'm going to download the assistant, say save. It's going to download it. I've already downloaded a few here, but I'm going to run the one I just downloaded. And it's running as a system tray app right here. So now I can click on it, and I can see that the Mesh Central agent is connected to the server. There's currently no sessions, and I can request help. So what I can do is go in the Task Manager. You can see the Mesh agent right here. This is the background agent. I am going to stop it. And when you stop it, you see that it's disconnected from the server, and it says agent is stopped. Now I can start up again. And as it starts up, you'll see the agent says agent is running. And then agent is connected to the server. And you'll see it there connected to the server. So I can close. I'll close this. Then I can go here, click Terminal, hit Connect. And I connect just as before to the same background mesh agent. But now, the Mesh Central Assistant is monitoring the agent and sees that there's a session that's active. And it puts my account picture, my name, and that there's one remote session. And the account picture is the one that I've set up in the My Account um, screen of Mesh Central. So whatever uh, picture I have here, that's the one that's going to show up over there. So you can see that on the Mesh Central server, you can see that I have a session. But now the user can also see I have a session. And if they click on one remote session, they get a dialog box with the type of session and how many of them and from who. So I can go back here, click on File, say Connect. And you'll see two sessions. And you'll see one terminal, one files. I can disconnect this one, disconnect this one. And then you'll see my picture getting removed if there's um, no more sessions. So this is great if you want to have the local user just monitor the background agent. Now, what you can do also do is have the uh, have, uh, Mesh Central Assistant act as its own agent. It has its own code to connect to the server that is completely independent from the code base of the Mesh Agent. So what I'm going to do is go back in the Task Manager. I'm going to go to the Mesh Agent, and I am going to stop it. So now it's not running in the background anymore. And I am going to go to the tray icon here and exit so that I no longer have the Mesh Central Assistant running. I'm going to go back to my computer list, say Add Agent. And now I'm going to pick Mesh Central Assistant. And I'm going to say Application Connect on User Request. For example, this is the one I want. If I want to give it to a friend who occasionally needs help with their computer, I don't want to have access to their computer all the time, just when they need to. So I'm going to download this version, say Save. And so this is the binary that you would send to your friend for them to run. 
And so anytime they need help, they run to that binary, it pops up, and it, you say request help, and it asks for a little dialog box. You can say what, what you want. My printer does not work. You say OK. So now that your local user just asks for help, and you'll see that now the computer is showing up. It's not showing up as the background agent. It's running as it's showing up as a separate device because now it's the mesh, agent, mesh central assistant connecting. And so when you click on this, and I'll dismiss here the um, the uh, pop up, you'll see that the mesh agent is is the assistant. And restricted here means that it's not running as administrator. So it's running as the current user. So it's not running with full uh, privileges on the machine. And it's still giving you the operating system you want, uh, information. It's giving you information on uh, the operating system, the BIOS, the motherboard, the memory bank storage. So it's giving you all that information. And you can do terminal and connect. And of course, here you see again my picture with one session. I can disconnect, go to files, same thing. So the features are the same, but it's a completely different code base that's uh, r running this uh, assistant. And at any time, I'll go back here. Um, and by the way, at any time, I can click on the, uh, the low integration point here, and I can see what uh, the user asks. So my printer does not work. When I go back to the list, I can sort devices by help. And I can, so that allows me to just see devices that have requested help. So if you have a lot of devices and a user connects and says, I need help with something, you can quickly just filter by help here, and you'll see it right there. And then you can help them. Once you're done, you can click on this little thing and say dismiss. And once you, it dismisses the help request, in this case, the application is done and it just disconnects. And so that's how, uh, th that's what that happens here. And so that's it. Now I can close it. I'm going to try the tray icon version. So I'm going to go here, go to add agent, and I am going to try tray, uh, system tray always connected. So just to make it very different, I'm going to save that executable and run it. And uh, one thing you'll note here is that when I download the executable, it's a single EXE, but your server's DNS name, uh, certificate hash, and the device group is all embedded inside that EXE. So w when you download the EXE, it will have everything in it to connect back to your server. So obviously, if you want to connect to a different server, you have to download an EXE from the server you want to connect, you want the EXE to connect to. So here, because this is a system tray EXE, you'll see it in the system tray right there. And I can click on it. It says uh, connected. And it says connected because I've opted for an always connected system tray. Uh, so as soon as you run it, it connects back to the server, and you see it running right here. Now, because this is um, kind of a, a support system, a support app, it will stay connected. But if you want to do anything like terminal file desktop, it will do uh, user consent as a required f feature, or required request. You cannot turn this off. So even if you've so opted to not do user consent, uh, for this device. When it comes to the assistant, if it's always connected mode, then user consent is always uh, requested. So here you can see uh, that the user is requesting uh, access. Do you want to allow? And you see a picture of me and my name. So I say allow. And then you, uh, you get remote desktop terminal access. I can do files allow, and I get remote files. And of course, you get the sessions, like here. You can also right click on the uh, system tray and say show events. And it will show you, uh, you know, what happened, which user is, uh, is connecting, disconnecting, what session ha happened. If you upload files, download files, it will show you what files have been uploaded and downloaded. So that's really nice for auditing purposes. That is, this is great. So I'm going to close this. Now, another thing I want to do 
is show that in system tray mode, if I right click on the system tray, it says agent select, and I have direct connect or uh, mesh agent. So what's going on here is that by default, because this mesh central assistant can connect directly to the server, it's in direct connect mode, but you can also use it to watch the background agent. So if I click on here, then it currently now is, is switched back to the original use that we had, which was to monitor the background agent. So now I can go back in Task Manager. I can go to Services, start up the agent again. And as I start it up, you'll see it connect over here. And there it goes, it connected, and it says connected to server. And so now if I connect with the terminal there, you'll see my picture and so on. So basically here as a system tray, I can act both as a direct connect uh, assistant where I launch a connection to the server or as a monitor for the background agent if that agent is present. So if you have multiple background agents, then you will have multiple of these uh, selections here. So if you have two or three agents can, uh, you know, running on the machine with different branding, then it will show you the branding for each of them, plus the direct connect. And of course, another fun fact is that you can brand the assistant with your own logo and your own title on top. So there's settings in the config.json um, file to do that. So in any case, I hope you enjoyed that. That was Mesh Central Assistant. It's instead of remote monitoring of computers, it is remote assist of computers. It will help your friends um, and family if they have problems. Thank you very much.